Hey kindergarten friends, happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a great week and I hope you have learned a lot this week. Well today we're gonna finish out our week with a math test. And every Friday we usually have testing, so today we're gonna have a test that you're gonna take at home. So what I want you to do is get out your packet and we're gonna take out page number 123. Now, if you printed out your packet, it would have been in there. If you picked up your packet on Wednesday, two days ago, you should have gotten this paper. It wasn't in the original packet. It was in the new packet that you just got on Wednesday. So if you can't find it, look through all your papers and find page 123 and 124. Okay, I'm going to put it up here on my board and we're going to walk through each piece together. Remember, this is a math test. Okay, so we want to make sure that it's what you know, not what mom knows, not what dad knows, not what your brother knows, not what your dog knows, but I want to know what you know and what you have learned with math. Okay, so before we get started, let's spend some time and let's pray to God and thank God for all that he's taught us. And let's pray that we would be focused and remember all the things that we have learned. Okay, so bow your heads and pray with me. God, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for helping us learn and grow and helping us um, learn what you have for us in math. So God, would you help us remember, and would you help us show on this paper what we've learned and uh, what you have taught us, God? And we ask all this in your name. Amen. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, first things first, go ahead and write your name up next to that house. Underneath number one, it says write the number, the, that's one of our sight words, huh? I want you to read the number word and write the number. Read the number word, write the number. Read the number word, write the number. Do that for all six of those. Read and write the number. Underneath that on number two, it says write the missing number. If your numbers are going in order, Blank, 47, 48. What comes before? 9, blank, 11. What goes in between? 38, 39. What comes next? Fill in each of the boxes. You have six to do. If you're ready for the next step, you can pause this video anytime. We're gonna go down and do some adding. If you need to use your fingers, if you need to draw little dots, if you need to get out some manipulatives, go ahead and do that. But add the numbers, write the answer. Add the numbers, write the answer. Okay. After that, we're going to look and you're going to tell me what time it is. When you know what time it is, write it in the box. Okay. Over here, you have a set of coins. Look at the coins. What coin is it? Okay. When you know what coin it is, you need to remember what do you count this coin by? Is it by ones? Is it by fives? Is it by tens? Or is it by twenty fives? What do you count this coin by? Okay. Then it says circle 20 cents. So what you're going to do is you're going to circle them one by one. If I circle one, how much money is that? Think of that in your brain. If I circle two, how much money is that? Think of that in your brain. So you might need more than two, you might need three, you might need four, you might need five, you might need six. How many coins do you need to circle to get to 20 cents? Okay, when you're ready, you can flip it over. On the back, we have this pretty spring picture with raindrops and ducks and flowers and worms and birds and frogs so many things well at the bottom 
You have the duck, the bird, the worm, the frog, the raindrop, and the flower. What you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the top and count how many ducks are in your picture. Count how many there are. Write the number in the box. How many birds are there? Write the number in the box. How many worms are there in your picture? Write the number in the box. How many frogs, how many raindrops, and how many flowers? Once you are done with that, boys and girls, you're going to give it back to mom and dad, and they're going to either send a picture to Mrs. McCoy and I or give it back to us in a couple of weeks on Wednesday. I hope you did your best, and I can't wait to see how well you did on your test. Bye, you guys.